Have you ever seen yourself in a situation where you have a king and a queen against a king and you're trying to checkmate your opponent and all of a sudden a stalemate appears? Well, it has happened to the best of us. So today I figured I'll just show you a very, very simple way to win every single king and queen versus king endgames. So I've set up a position here. We're white. It's our turn to move. And this is something that can happen from every game. So uh, the opponent has a king here, we have a king and a queen. It's our turn to, mo it's our turn to move. And uh, yeah, so let's say we go here. What our opponent might do is go here. What we want to do in these end games, the goal of it is to push our, the opponent's king into the corner. Any corner is fine. And then from there, we bring our king in and we make a checkmate. But how do we do this? Well, we just keep on checking. If the king moves here, we're going to do something called, I don't actually know what it's called, but it's something like this. As you can see here, when we place our queen over here and the king is here, then the king can't move to any of these three squares. Not, not this, 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 or this. It has to go to the side. And once it goes to the side, we just follow it up. We continue forcing it to go to the side if they go here. We just go here, the king can still not go to any of these squares, it's forced to go to the corner. Let's go here, go here, and if the king goes to this rank, we simply just go here. And look, the king is stuck over here, the king cannot get out, the king is stuck in the corner. This is all we have to do. Then once the king goes here, we can follow it up and go here. Once the king goes here, we do not go here. <laughs> because if we go to c7 now, this will be a stalemate, and we would not like a stalemate. So what we simply have to do now is make sure that the king has squares to go to. So make sure the king can go over here, then back, then here, then back. And we just bring our king in. So we go here. The opponent can go to this square. We go to this square. The opponent can go here. We go to this square. The opponent goes here. And now we, yes, deliver the checkmates on b7. Very simple. So this is basically all we have to do. So I'll go through it again. Once the opponent moves... We just create this against the opponent. We force them to go to any corner because these squares are all covered. And once they go more towards the corner, we just do it again. Force them to go once again to the corner. If they go to this square, we just force them to stay on the last rank. We follow them. This is all we have to do here. And then once they go here, we make sure not to go to C7. Always make sure that the king has squares to go to. Because we do not want to blunder stalemates. And once the king, uh, it's our turn. And then if we had a pawn, we could, for example, just walk the pawn up and make a rook or a queen. A rook, obviously, because that's cooler. But we just, uh, if we don't have a pawn, we just bring our king in. They're forced, forced to go to these squares. Then once our king is over here, we can simply just bring our queen in and checkmate either like this or like this. So, well, yeah, that's all for this, I guess. This is how you win every single kill king and queen versus king endgame. If you would like me to go through any more chess tactics, feel free to comment it down below. If you like, if you like this video, please like and subscribe if you want to. And peace out.